Oh my God, the number of questions I get when people ask me, well, I don't speak fluently. I have an accent. English is not my first language. Should I still be on YouTube? And then the follow-up question is, well, can I make videos in my local language? Yes or no. So in today's video, I want to give you some reasons for why you should be making videos in your local language. And one reason why you shouldn't, absolutely not. So are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri from SalmaJafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. If you love this channel and enjoy the content that I create, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications so that I can create more great stuff for you. I know that this is slightly old data, but in 2011, YouTube said that 60% of its viewers are non-English speaking. So I don't know how you want to look at this, but the way I'm looking at it, that's a pretty big buy, no matter how you slice it. So that is a huge, huge percentage of people watching um, for whom English is not their first language. So you as a YouTube creator and as an entrepreneur should really be thinking, well, what can I do with that particular data set? And I'm sure it's only grown from 2011 now, and so if it's such a big subset of the audience that's watching YouTube, it makes sense to think, well, there must be a market out there for people who want to enjoy YouTube content and get it in their local language. Maybe it's easier for them to understand it. Maybe they just want to be able to relate to people who speak the same language as them. So that is, I think, a really, really great reason for creating localized content in your local language if you want to cater to a local audience. The second thing you want to consider is less competition. So think about it. English speaking videos, there are so many and they are so saturated. There is a whole market that you have to compete with of people who've started their channels eight years ago and they have already built up this reputation and this audience. And you're thinking, well, how can I be different and how can I stand out? Well, if you speak another language, that's how you can be different, right? So you can start to create content, let's say in Spanish or Arabic or Hindi or whatever language you speak, and you can cater to that market. It's gonna be less competitive of a playing field and you're gonna be able to grow faster. So if growth is a huge goal for you and you wanna get a lot of views, and maybe you look at a market like India, for example, huge growth, fast exponential growth or China, for example, again, big numbers, lots of people. So you want to look at how many people speak that language and what are the trends showing you? And is that trend growing? And if yes, then definitely you want to cater to the people who speak that language and you want to make videos in your local language for local people. So here's the caveat to that. Um, and here's the big reason when you shouldn't be making videos in your local language or in non-English. So let's say that you want to target English speaking audiences for whatever reason. For my um, audience, it is largely English speaking because I'm selling courses and uh, you know trainings and membership and my audience is English speaking. So it just doesn't make sense for me to make videos in another language, even though I am bilingual. Um, even though that's a funny story, and I'll shorten that story, I actually didn't start speaking my local language until I was 13 years old because we didn't live in Pakistan at that time. And anyway, but I am bilingual now. So as a bilingual speaker, um, I grew up with both languages together, English a little bit more than Urdu, which is my native language, but I do speak both fluently now. So I could potentially make videos in both languages and who knows, I might start an Urdu channel at some point in the future about something else. But as far as my YouTube education channel goes, my primary audience are English speaking uh, people. And so that's why I chose to have a channel in English. Now you have to really consider your audience. Who is your target audience? If you want to target an English speaking audience, then you're going to have to make videos in English. If you want to target a local audience, then make videos in the local language. So that is the big caveat. You really have to consider who is the audience that you want to attract and who are you making these videos for? And in the future, also think about how are you going to be monetizing these videos? So if you're planning to sell something um, which audiences are not familiar with in your country, then maybe it might not be a good idea to make videos in that language, right? On the other hand, if you are planning to monetize with AdSense and for AdSense, you just need a lot of views and you can get those views with your local language, then go all for it. I do have a couple more points for you that 
to consider. So stay tuned till the end of this video. You want to weigh all the options here. Okay. So my question for you is, are you bilingual or even trilingual? Tell me all the languages you speak in the comments below. Okay. So the third thing you want to consider is from an advertiser perspective. So certain countries and certain advertisers in those countries pay more for certain languages and certain keywords in those languages. Now I said certain like five times there. <laughs> okay. But here's what I'm getting at. CPC cost per click is the metric that you want to look for. So if you go to any free keyword research tool, like let's say Uber suggest you go there, you type in a keyword and it's going to tell you the cost per click for that particular keyword, right? You go and type it in your local language and you'll get a cost per click for that as well. So if you're planning to monetize your videos and your aim is to earn a lot of money through AdSense and through views and all of that, then you want to target the language that has a higher CPC and advertisers that are willing to pay more for certain keywords in those languages. So you're thinking about, okay, if I'm going to be making videos in English, then that might typically have a higher CPC than videos in, I don't know, Spanish or Arabic or whatever else, right? So if that is something you want to do, then consider that. But I do have a workaround for that for you coming up, which is going to be the fourth tip in this, which is YouTube has fantastic translation features. And here are a couple of ways in which you can use those features. So number one, you can actually say the video in one language and then the subtitles can be in a whole nother language. Now, another thing about subtitles is that you can actually either do them yourself or pay a transcription service to put subtitles in another language, or you could actually crowdsource the subtitles and have your community contribute to having your subtitles in another language. So you have to open up uh, the crowd uh, sourcing option on YouTube and then your community can contribute. So those are good ways. If you know that your audience speaks another language and you want to be able to target certain other keywords as well in that other language, so that's a good option to use. And how are you going to find out if your audience speaks that other language? You look in your YouTube analytics, you look inside demographic data, and then you go there and see what are, let's say the top three languages or the top three countries that your audience is coming in from. And that will give you a good idea about what languages you could potentially subtitle your videos in and you can do more than one language. And also I want to hear drop in a shout out to TubeBuddy because their tool uses a, a translation feature where you can actually translate the metadata. So the titles, the tags and the descriptions of your videos as well using their tool. So there are so many options available for you. If you want to combine languages, somebody asked me, can we combine English? And I think it was Hindi that they asked about. And I said, yes, because I know I live in the subcontinent the Indian subcontinent. And I know that a lot of people mix these two languages. There's actually a name for it. It's called Minglish. And a lot of sp people speak Minglish. You know? um, it, I, it's not a recognized language, but it is something in casual conversation. You sort of mix words with English. And if that's your audience, then that's your audience. And you can totally make videos in Minglish and provide subtitling in both for your audience. So my biggest, like the takeaway that you should take from this video is don't let language or accent be the barrier to you creating your business and your YouTube channel. There are so many ways to think around this and there are so many opportunities that other people can't even utilize because they don't speak another language and you do. So you should really think about yourself as being lucky and have this opportunity to create content in a less competitive space in another language, servicing your local community and dominating your particular niche. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I would love to know what languages you speak in the comments below. And also remember to check out my YouTube masterclass, which will show you how to create that channel from scratch and grow it the right way. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand new love because you can beat the media.